Hello Booktube! Welcome to Lizzie Bay Loves Books. And today's video is going to be a very large library book sale haul. I mentioned in my January-February book haul video that I would be going in a few days to a very large library book sale that I had been to before. And this time, this particular uh, day that I went is the day that they do fill a box for five dollars. I waited a little later in the day to go because sometimes they start out the day with half price books but I found out once I got there that they had been doing fill a box for five dollars all day and I should have gotten there earlier because they had fewer books than they normally do at this time of the third day of the sale. Now it was fill a box for five dollars and I wanted to show you my box before I start unpacking it. It's a fairly large box and I don't even know how many books are in here. They did not seem to have as many adult books at this point in the sale as they have had in previous years that I've gone. They did have a lot of children's books and since I like to get children's books for a little free library and for um, you know and to help out teachers, I ended up spending the majority of my time getting children's books and so I'm not going to show you each of those individually. I will, I'm just going to unpack my box. The sale was a few days ago and I have just kept everything in the box and at this point I don't even remember a lot of what I got. I know that I also got a few videos and so I'm just going to unpack the box and then I will try to edit out the parts that are not very interesting unless that's the whole video. Um, okay so I mentioned I got a lot of children's books so um, I'm not going to show you each of those. You know, as I come to them I will get those out. Oh, um, one thing I did get for my husband that I think is really neat. Uh, I've already shown it to him and it was kind of a, like a Valentine's Day gift but it is about old cars and it has some beautiful illustrations of a lot of different old cars and uh, he is an old car buff he loves old cars that's usually what we do for entertainment outings is go to car shows he's not into sports but he is into old cars so this is called Passenger Cars 1905 to 1912 by T.R. Nicholson. All right, so a lot more children's books. Here's a here's an American Girl book. I try to when I'm getting books for the Little Free Library, I try to get some nonfiction as well as uh, fiction because I like to have a nice mix of children's books. This one's adorable. Click, click, move. Cows the type. Awesome. Frog and Toad are friends. Good. One of my favorite children's authors is Andrew Clements. The Landry News is not one of my favorites by him, but I did enjoy it. Uh, my favorite Andrew Clements book is Friendle. If you've never read that, it's really, really a cute story. Um, but, uh, but anyway, I thought, again, this would be good for the Little Free Library. This one's in good shape. Cats at the Campground. It's an animal art book. It's a little miniature version of Little Women. I mentioned I got a few videos. Revenge of the Nerds. Hilarious. Some little bitty books. Even some Christmas books. Here is a Nancy Drew Files number 112 called For Love or Money. Now this um, not really sure. This is part of the Cat Who series, but this is Lillian Jackson Braun, The Private Life of the Cat Who. So this is not part of the series, but I think, I guess this is a companion book to the Cat Who series. So I'm looking forward to reading this. Um, I picked up this John D. McDonald book. My husband has had some good success in selling some of these old John McDonald paper books on eBay. So I went ahead and put this in my box so that he can try to resell this. I've heard of this book. This is nonfiction. It's called Fast Food Nation by Eric Schlosser. And I think it's kind of along the lines of the, if you've seen the movie Food Inc. about how our food is processed. And I find this very interesting. This, uh, the subtitle says The Dark Side of the All-American Meal. And it says it was a New York Times bestseller. A couple of books from a guidepost series. Tales from Grace Chapel Inn is the series. It's called, one is called We Have This Moment and one is called Back Home Again. Um, this one caught my eye because it's by Melody Carlson. Uh, just this month I read one of Melody Carlson's Christmas books and I enjoyed it. It was called The Christmas Joyride. So um, they, this one was right next to it. It's a different author, Diana Hunt, but they were from the same series. So I just went ahead and put them both in my box. More children's books, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, Vanicula, Bionicle Book, Star Wars, 
Cam Jansen. Ooh, I could read that for my March Mystery Madness challenge to read a kid's mystery book. This one is Cam Jansen and the Mystery of the Gold Coins. I picked this one up, What Janie Found. This is one of the books in the Face on the Milk Carton series. I have yet to read Face on the Milk Carton, but it does sound like an interesting series, so I went ahead and picked this up. I got a few audiobooks. This is by M.C. Beaton. It's from the Agatha Raisin series. Agatha Raisin and the Walkers of Dimbley. I also picked up a, an abridged version of At Home in Mitford on cassette. That's something I can listen to in my car. I can listen to this book over and over again. Oh, I threw it in. We still have a couple of VCRs around here, uh, so at my house. And since I'm always needing to exercise, I picked up, here's a blast from the past, a Tybo workout. I've never done Tybo, um, and I may not, I may not still do it, but I picked it up. Got a John Wayne video, The Searchers. One of my favorite Kevin Costner movies is Waterworld. I couldn't remember if I had this one or not. The Secret of My Success with Michael J. Fox. I love this movie. Uh, another movie I really enjoy, Dragonheart and Terminator 2, arguably the best of the Terminator movies. One of my all-time favorite movies, Steel Magnolias. More kids books, got some chunky books, a little golden book, Lady and the Tramp, a little critter's book, The Wonderful Pigs of Jilly and Jigs. That looks cute. This I had never seen before. It's called The Mystery of Disney World, and it's book number 11 for boys and girls of all ages by Carol Marsh. And um, it looks like it's got some actual photos from inside Disney World. And so um, I was in, kind of interested. I have never seen this series, so I thought it would be fun to get. I enjoyed Gary Paulson, and I didn't have Tracker. I've not read this one. The I Spy book. Flat Stanley. A kid size scaled down version of Anna Green Gables, Thunder from the Sea, other kids books, Surviving Surviving the Apple Whites. I don't think I've heard of this one, but it's a Newbery Honor book. More kids books. Here's an old Gordon Corman book called Radio Fifth Grade. Oh, I remember what my daughter used to read, the Rainbow Magic books. This one is India, the Moonstone Fairy, Animorphs. This is another Newbery Honor book, The Family Under the Bridge by Natalie Savage, Natalie Savage Carlson. This is one of the few adult books I got. This is by Wanda Brunstetter. It's called Lancaster Brides. And it says um, it's got four novels inside this one bind up. This is a Crossings Book Club edition. My mom used to be in the Crossings Book Club. I ended up getting two copies of this book. I'll probably give one to a teacher. I may read one. Um, it's called Half Magic by Edward Eager. And um, and honestly, I couldn't remember if, when I ran across the second copy, I couldn't remember if I had actually put another copy in my box already, but I thought I had. And so I figured, you know, I would just give one of them away. And then I ran across this one called Magic or Not, and I'm guessing this is probably the sequel. So it's by the same author, Edward Eager, and they look kind of fun, so um, so I'm, I might read these before I pass them on to a teacher or a little free library. And even though I've been reading this series, or listening to this series on audio, um, again, I couldn't resist just putting this in my box. The Miracle at Speedy Motors by Alexander Bacall Smith. I'm not sure what number this is, but this is part of the Number One Ladies Detective Agency series. Um, I just saw Laura from Mom to Triplets 04 hold this book up when she was doing her shelf tour, and I didn't know there's a companion book to this called Hate That Cat, um, so I've definitely got to get that one. This one's called Love That Dog by Sharon Creech, and so uh, I have read this before, and it's a really fun, cute book done in verse, so I'm, uh, I'm going to have to find Hate That Cat, even though I love cats but it sounds like a fun book to read. Now, I love Mrs. Frisbee and the Rats of Nim, but I've never heard of this, and I don't think this is by the same author. This is by Jane Leslie Conley, and it's called R.T. Margaret and the Rats of Nim. So I don't know how this is related to Mrs. Frisbee and the Rats of Nim. That's one of my favorite childhood books. So this looked interesting to me, and I picked it up just to see what the connection is. So some more kids' books, some chapter books, to see those. This was Family Robinson. This is by Lois Lowry called Stay. Living with Hurricanes. We have to do that here in Florida. Mike Lupica book. 
called Million Dollar Throw. I have picked up several copies of Holes in, uh, in times past. Uh, this is a great book for teachers to have in their classroom, um, especially, and, and also for the Little Free Library. I've never read this, but uh, I have heard people say it's cute. The Best Worst Christmas Pageant Ever by Barbara Robinson. I figured what kid wouldn't want to read this book. It's called Chocolate Covered Ants by Stephen Maines. Here's an Arthur book. Um, a Barbie book. A true story. This is probably something I will keep. It's called Emergence, Labeled Autistic. It's by Temple Grandin and Margaret M. Scariato. I have listened to one Temple Grandin book on audio, and I have seen the biographical movie of her um, that's about her. And um, if you don't know, if you're not familiar with who Temple Grandin is, she's a college professor who has autism. And she's just amazing. So I will definitely be trying to get to this book pretty soon. Never read this book, but I know it's a classic. Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret by Judy Bloom. Uh, this is one of my favorite kids' books. I didn't read this till I was an adult. It's one of my favorite Newberry winners, The Whipping Boy. I had a copy and I sent it to my sister's grandson in his Christmas box. And so when I found another copy, I had to snatch it up because I love to just have this book. It's really cute to read to students if I'm subbing for like a third or fourth grade class. And it's just so much fun. Another one of my favorite children's authors that I didn't read till I was an adult is Sharon Creech. And uh, I already showed you uh, Love That Dog. I think this is the first Sharon Creech book that I ever read, and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I think that uh, of all the ones I've read, that this is my favorite. So I did not have my own copy of it, and uh, I may not keep this one. I, I like to share books that I love with other people, So, um, uh, but I might try to talk my daughter into reading it because it is really, really good. Another book I have read, Freak the Mighty by Rodman Philbrick. This is a really good heartwarming story. I've seen this, but I've never read it. When Life Gives You O.J. by Erica S. Pearl. It's such a cute cover. Another stack of children's books, Boxcar Children Early Reader. Look. Again, I got lots of children's picture books to put in the Little Free Library. Lots more. Kids love these uh, world record books. Some, uh, some more picture books. Knit Girl 2. I have, uh, I have hopes that I will be able to teach my daughter how to knit one of these days if we ever get around to it. We've tried before, but uh, she was not successful yet, but I haven't given up. Hercules. How Animals Hide. This looks cool. The different ways that animal, animals can camouflage themselves. New Ideas for Lap Quilting by Georgia Bone Steel. I may give that to my sister. Or at least believe it or not. Legend of the Indian Paintbrush. Oh, this is one I'll probably keep. The Appalachian Trail. I used to have hopes and dreams of walking the Appalachian Trail. I doubt that's ever going to happen, but I do enjoy reading about it. I have several books already, and I, uh, I do enjoy walking through the trail through the eyes of other people that have done it. Uh, here's another book by Sid Fleischman. He wrote The Whipping Boy, which is one of my favorites. Here's a storybook called The Hey Hey Man. <laughs> And we're almost to the bottom. Dead in Vineyard Sand, Philip R. Craig. This is one of the Cackleberry Club mysteries by Laura Childs called Steak and Eggs. I have been collecting both her tea shop mysteries and her scrapbooking mysteries. Someone commented uh, to another book haul video that I did that the Cackleberry Club series was also really good. So when I saw this one, I decided to put it in. And the last one is a Karen Kingsbury book called Learning. I have only read one Karen Kingsbury, and I wasn't crazy about it, but I know a lot of my friends just read all of her books and love them. This is from the Bailey Flanagan series, and it uh, looks like it's sports related, so I don't know if I will read this one or not, but I thought surely one of my friends might enjoy having this, or I might donate it to our church library, but um, it was such a beautiful copy that I couldn't pass it up. That's the end of my box. Wow, that's a lot of books. I'm going to count them and I will let you know how many actual books there are here. So I think that's interesting. Now on that same day, um, when I left that library, I couldn't resist stopping at the Goodwill because there's a really nice Goodwill store that's in that same town. So here are the books that I found there. 
I got a clue for the Puzzle Lady. This is the first in the Puzzle Lady series by Parnell Hall. I've seen these books around. I'm interested to read these, but I had not yet seen the first one. So I was pretty sure this was the first one, and I was right. So I think um, I will probably get around to reading this one of these days. My husband also enjoys crossword puzzles, so he will probably read this too. I also got the Bananagrams official book. We have the Bananagrams game and it's a lot of fun and this I thought might help me because I'm not very good at Bananagrams and this has a lot of good word suggestions in it. <laughs> so um, I thought this might be a good companion book to have next time we play Bananagrams. This, look, this just looked really cute. The Vintage Teacup Club by Vanessa Green. It's got a really pretty cover. I love teacups and dishes and things like that, so I thought I would pick this up. Now because I don't want to have to do another haul video for just a couple more books and I really don't think I will buy any more books this month. I really don't need to buy any more books. <laughs> I didn't need to buy these. Um, I made a couple of other stops by a couple of libraries that I don't normally get to very often. It just happened to be driving through that way and so let me show you what I got real quick. One of the little towns in our county has a, a fairly new library facility and it's kind of far. It's sort of on the other side of the county from where I am and so we have to be going through there and I wanted to stop and take a look. So the only thing I ended up buying there was another copy of The Chocolate Touch by Patrick Skeen Catling and this is really really a cute book. It's kind of like the Midas touch only it's chocolate. Everything this boy touches turns to chocolate. I had a copy and the cat, one of the cats damaged it pretty severely so it wasn't pleasant to keep and I was looking for another copy and I found it. And I briefly stopped by another library that same day that is also kind of far from me but I can almost always find something there that I would enjoy and their prices are very inexpensive. So I picked up a Fanny Clyde book that I don't have. I have listened to this on audio, but this is a standalone called I Still Dream About You and it is about a lady who is a realtor. So that's kind of a different, uh, different subject and a subject I don't know much about, but I thought it was a very in entertaining story. Uh, here is a cozy mystery called Death by Cashmere by Sally Goldenbaum. This is one of the Seaside Knitters mysteries. It's got a copy of Specials by Scott Westerfeld. It has no dust jacket, so now I officially have a very mismatched complete set of the Ugly series by Scott Westerfeld. My copy of Pretties and Uglies are paperback and not in great shape. Then I have specials now in hardback with no dust jacket. And then my copy of extras is beautiful and looks brand new, although I got it for probably a quarter or 50 cents at a thrift store. And then I have the companion book, Bogus to Bubbly, that I bought brand new at the Scholastic Warehouse sale. So now I can finish reading the series. Both my daughter and I have read Uglies, but we have not read Pretties or any of the rest of the series. So now we have them all and we can get busy reading them. So that's it for my February Library Book Sale Haul. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you saw something that you might be interested in. Let me know if you've read any of these books. So that's all I have for this video. I hope you're having a great day. Read a good book and God bless you.